working in the department or in the area or in these various companies. There are certain legal documents that they need to verify. Part of them is work permits. You will remember when we were in the hospitality industry, there was a major issue around the fact that some of the workers were working with just passports. Now, this is, um, is becoming a major issue, mainly because um, such things require that you have a work permit. So these are some of the things that they will look at. Sad, huh? When they need votes, they come to us. Yet when it comes to regulation and focusing on it, they don't care. Of those numbers, but you can bet already that more has gone up. But again, going to that confusion, there's a lot of confusion in terms of what's going on. There are a lot of questions that are being asked. And a lot of them just asking what's going on, what is it that we did? But as you can see there, Home Affairs, ensuring that they give them the details, the necessary details that they may need um, to ensure that they are, um, in fact, adhering to, to the law. ...that we're here to deliver. Then ...that is in front of you that has more people. So we are going to get more details. You can already bet that more than 10 people have now been arrested. And this you know, this is sad because my dad used to work in the steel industry but now he can't get a job for anything however we've got people who are just working with ids and no work permits employed in some some of these companies and to be fair the only reason why they hire these people is because they know that they can afford to pay them nothing however not all of them are being paid poorly some of them are being paid more than south africans let's be honest not all of them because here there was Chinese people, Indians, and um, Europeans, you know? So that's where you start to see that this is not all about um, the rates they have to pay South Africans. They generally don't see us as important besides being customers or consumers in our own country. In our own country. How sad is that? Is that other video? This one. <laughs> no man, what am I doing? What do you think this is? Like, which country are we in? <laughs> Well, of course, because of all the things I've been covering, well, the past two videos, it's it's obvious. But would you tell that by looking at this picture? I'm looking at this picture and I'm struggling to even find one person that looks South African. You know, I'm not saying these people aren't African, but what are the odds that all these people are here legally? <laughs> anyway, the only reason why I'm showing you that is this picture. <laughs> You see, these people are fighting amongst each other for territory and such. In our country, no fear to take out guns and such. And let's be honest, South Africans aren't generally people with guns at home. Not everyone has a gun at home. You might find that, weirdly enough, in one, yeah, one street, maybe you might find that there's people with guns maybe in two or one house. We are not like Americans where you might find that the next neighbor and the next neighbor and the next neighbor has guns. So what's going to happen if you start getting attacked by these people? Our cops are going to come after four hours, three hours, when we are all, you know, casualties. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> nah, nah, let's get to the next video. Uh, we just chased this guy away. Because it's a, it's a security from where from? Malawi, Zimbabwe. Malawi, Zimbabwe. Malawi. This is from Malawi. Yeah. This, no, he said this, no, we, we don't work for South Africa anymore. So this guy now is going home. We just chased him away from this company. As you can see, all the clothes and everything. He's gonna put his clothes here and go home. The last clothes from South Africa. Yeah. And go home back to your country. Malawi. Say bye bye. So what are your feelings about things being done like this?
I know I have my own, but it seems like when I say stuff, I get attacked. So what are your thoughts? Guys, this is this is my fellow South Africans, eh? They have started. Yes, Brian. Okay, hi, this is Brian here, the owner of the Power Bill Cosmo. We are here to support our communities. The new guys are working with me today. This guy already learned his job. Okay, now we're giving 10 guys the opportunity to work with me. Right, I got four branches. We split on the guys in the branches. Now we are all South Africans working to have our better life. Isn't that? Yes. Thank you. And please support Brian. Oh, so now I'm wondering, is this PR or is this being done because this guy was caught with foreign nationals that were illegal um, workers? But anyway, good for the guys who started the jobs and um, well done. Um, it's very good when you see people get opportunities to better themselves. Let's get to the next video. Your citizenship is determined by where you were born. <laughs> At least, girl, stress is still a situation. When I get zeba, really, when I get zeba, I'm a South African. You linga bina, Morena boloka se chava sa esu. Oh damn! You said in to ale matse ye ho se boloke, se boloke, se chava sa. <laughs> South Africa Nagenali ID Etala <laughs> Yo Etala, I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, that's funny, that's funny. Anyway, let's end this on a funny note because this has been too serious. Well, but in South Africa, will you ever get a Pry pack, a literal pry pack like this, but <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> what is that? Um, cock, caucus, caucus and cleaver, caucus and cleaver. Wow, wow, this is new marketing. How much? 75 bucks. Hmm, three dates. What is that? Bacon. I, I, I'd buy that hamper. <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding oh anyway damn yo thanks you well thank you rather to everyone who subscribed to my channel in the past um 30 to 40 days 130 subscribers thank you so much everyone and um let's hope that we can keep the growth going so that i can um you know hopefully bring more quality videos and um we can grow the community and it becomes bigger. I'd like to end this video by also saying disclaimer, everything I share on my channel is my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, I understand that, but let's just resolve our differences um, respectfully in the comment section and let us not insult each other, you know? Because that's how conversation goes. Fights start when you people when when people rather <laughs> what do you mean you people when people start attacking other people instead of giving or providing helpful criticism anyway i'm out thanks for watching peace